Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to do a little review today on the new XOP Renegade saddle. And it is a hybrid saddle. It is for, it can be used as a harness or as a saddle. It's brand new. Nobody has ever come out with anything like this where you can actually hunt out of it like a saddle if you want. Or if you decide to, you're getting in the woods and you realize that, you know, you just want to hunt out of your tree stand today and you've got a ladder stand up or got a hang on already up then you can use that and never have to switch over and go to a different harness it's it's awesome i think uh, the idea is great which i haven't put it on i haven't done anything with it like i said this is all new we're going to try it out but i did just get it in the mail today so we'll see what all is actually inside it and we'll get going, see what we can't figure out. All right, we're gonna open it on up. And this comes all in one bag. It's got the instructions, or the instruction manual inside of it. And it looks like it's got all the ropes and everything inside. Got your normal instruction manual, it's inside. Pack and slip, there was a sticker that's inside there. And then you got uh, another manual using your saddle harness. Got all your ropes. Got three different ropes here. One thing about this here is you got all three of them look like they're the same size. Yeah, all three of the ropes are the same size. Carabiners are heavy. Uh, if you're someone wanting to go light on all your equipment, then you'll want to replace those carabiners. Here you got your tether for the back end when you use it as an actual harness. And then there's the saddle. Uh, and one thing that I would, I see right from the start, is there's no padding, nothing up here on the actual shoulder straps, nothing to actual actually set it apart from the rest of it, make it a little bit more distinctive whenever you grab it. You know, all the straps and stuff are kind of ran together. But we'll go ahead and uh, put it on. Yeah, see, without having shoulder strap, something that was a little bit more distinctive on it, I stuck my arm through the wrong strap just right there from the start. You got chest strap, you can adjust it down, and then you got a, a relief strap for if you're using it as a harness and you actually fall out of your tree, you can undo the, the Velcro on here and actually put it down where you can step on it to get the weight off of your legs all right well i went ahead and uh moved the camera over a little bit moved over where you guys could see this a little bit better but while i was doing that i had to look in the instruction manual because there is two different sets of leg straps so you got your first one which is just a regular uh cam buckle where it's just slide the smaller buckle in through the bigger buckle you got that on both sides and then there's another set that's down here and this is what was kind of confusing like I said I had to get on the actual instruction and look at it and see I don't think I've ever looked at instructions before to put on a harness so that was a little different <laughs> but it just has a loop right here on the side if I can get it in there where you can see where that buckle just goes right on in and hooks into there you know it is a it is a saddle 
so you don't really necessarily have to have the leg straps really tight I went a little overboard on it and tightened it down a little too much I have to you got your adjustments here for your shoulder straps which I need to adjust down some because the saddle's just hanging off of me And there that that there feels a little bit better except so right around the back it's I mean it doesn't feel bad at all like I said the the leg straps they're not something that necessarily has to be really tight whenever you're using it as a saddle so you have a little bit of slack in there that way to make it a little bit more comfortable when you're up in the tree said uh, before these carabiners are uh, actually pretty heavy so I'll probably replace those with some lighter weight and this right here is one thing that I will see that I'm not gonna like too well you know I'm a little over six foot so you got with knots so you got seven foot of rope here and that's the same length all three of these ropes are the exact same length so that seven foot is what you're gonna have to use for a bridge so I'll either get a different rope for a bridge or I'll end up cutting this one down to make it a little bit more manageable but we'll go ahead and find the loop there on the side and I'll just run all this through here so I'm gonna use this carabiner today but I will, uh, I will replace that to get something smaller. The Prusik knot, I like the, I like the way it feels. It seems like it's going to actually hold up really well. And then you got the actual rope itself. Feels very good. Feels like it'll actually hold up real well. One thing I was trying to just move the Prusik knot. Uh, it had the ends that were almost shoved down inside of it i want to have a little bit extra sticking out because i don't want to put all my trust in the 16th of an inch of rope that's sticking out i want to make sure there's a little bit where i can keep an eye on it make sure that it's not slipping at all and then once i hook this other end as you can see here's my bridge that's uh, a little long Normally, whenever I adjust my bridge, I'll have it to where I can hold it out about about 12 inches or so in front of me. That's normally about how I like to keep my bridge. And if I do that, this rope is hanging down below my feet. So that's something that would be in the way, taking a chance of getting it wrapped up in your foot whenever you're climbing. So. I can sit on that. I would have. I would have rather it have been a different size rope for the bridge, but they did give all three ropes. So you do have a rope for the bridge, one for the lineman, and one for your tether. And at the price point, it is. It's hard to beat. I mean, you can get this for under $150 or right around $150, where you can have this harness all the ropes you would need and everything to get started now i've been trying to get in or well been wanting to get into saddle hunting for a while now for last three years i guess something like that and i haven't just because of the price and not 100 percent sure if i'm actually gonna like saddle hunting or not so with this here being like i said around 150 bucks you get the saddle, you get the bridge rope, the linesman's rope, and the tether, everything there. So, I mean, you get some steps and you get a platform and you're ready to hunt. So, I mean, it's it's not bad, it's, it's good to get into. And plus side to all of it is it's a fail safe for me. If I don't like saddle hunting, then I can still use it as a harness. 
I was needing a new harness this year. Uh, last one I've got was it was quite a while ago, and it's uh, it's getting pretty rugged. I I put it through quite a bit, so I was going to need to buy a new harness this year. That one I was looking at, it was a hundred dollars, a little over a hundred. So this right here took that out, so 150 bucks, and then I get a saddle built into it where I can try it out. And then also, if you're hunting all day, you know, you can hang from your saddle and actually use it as a saddle and do this at a hang-on location. And then if you get tired of hanging in your saddle all day and you want to actually just sit down on a, a stand, you can turn around and hang this up on your tether behind you and then you can sit down and relax for a while or or vice versa if you get tired of this then you can just spin around and then you can hang from the tree in a saddle position and hunt that way for a while so i mean it's very versatile and also one thing that i really like is i mean just the versatility of it all together i'm sure just a little bit of extra adjustment probably be pretty good in which i got a limb up here that's kind of right in the way so it's a little bit lower than what i would like to have it but yeah that's actually really nice i mean it's sturdy there's nothing wrong with this at all i could i'm not big on being up against the tree a lot of times but you know if you're on long hunts you know then of course you can have knee pads on or cushion or whatever and it's not so bad but you know most of the time i'm just standing and i'll lean up against my rope just to have a little bit of extra comfort for me anyways but i could definitely see myself hunting out of this for long periods of time and not having any issues with it like i said every every saddle you do just a little bit of adjustments here and there and you'll find what works best for you but this is a uh, this is actually surprisingly comfortable so i don't have any issues with this really at all there's a couple quirks that you know i would like to have seen done differently you know for one i would have liked to have seen some cushions or just anything to show what strap is what you know if you get a little bit of cushion on here whenever you pull it out of your bag then you know without a doubt that hey this is this is the shoulder straps and then there's no there's no molly webbing on here on the back no loops at all to where you can actually put pouches on it uh, that's one thing i would have rather had i definitely would have liked to have had some pouches there to be able to hook up some pouches i mean Sure, there's there's going to be ways to where you can actually hook them up and find pouches to hook up a different way but you know i like having the the molly loops on there to where you can actually just hook them right on the way it's supposed to be hooked up uh, you know they could have went with some lighter carabiners that's not really a huge deal a uh, huge deal is actually sending all three of these ropes you know i really like that uh, and i don't know I was thinking about this the other day. We'll just go ahead and try it out right now while we're all right here. But I was hoping that maybe you could utilize the the back strap as a back band. And it's it's not bad. I mean you can definitely use it to lean back. You lean back a little more than what I would like to lean back, but it's still something if you're just wanting to stretch your back out, you can run this tether over your back, hook into your carabiner, and you're good to go. Okay, we'll go over some of the, the pros and cons of what I've gathered from this from, you know, just this short little bit of time. You know, I'll have a little bit more uh, in-depth videos of it. Uh, our hunting season comes in actually this week actually i guess uh, this friday so i'll be able to get some more time in it and actually use it out in the woods in real time setting but you know for this 
I would I definitely recommend especially to somebody who is just getting into the game you know that's wanting to get into saddle hunting or has has been wanting to get into saddle hunting but not a hundred percent sure if you're gonna like it or not you know it's it's a win-win it's a fail safe you know if you tree stand hunt at all and you're wanting to get into saddle hunting but don't want to spend the money this is a no-brainer you can get in you can actually saddle hunt out of it and if for some reason you don't like it because it's not going to be for everyone but if for some reason you don't like it you already got a harness out of it so i mean you can still use it in your regular tree stands that right there is a is a huge deal and that's one of the biggest points of what i liked about it uh, other than that it comes with you know your bridge rope it comes with a rope for your lines your linesman belt and it comes with a tether so most of them aren't coming with all that unless you pay extra uh, or you pay for an actual package deal you know, and you're definitely going to be looking at a whole lot more than 150 dollars so to get into it and to get going you can't really go wrong uh, and some of the cons little quirks really i guess you should say uh, i would have rather have some cushion some padding something on these straps something to make them a little bit more distinctive whenever you pull them out of your bag and you're getting ready to put it on you know what strap is what it's a it, it would have just helped it out overall in my opinion uh, the carabiners could have went with a little bit lighter carabiners but like i said that's not a big deal that's not a deal breaker at all in any means uh, one thing that i would have really would have rather seen is them send a different length of rope for the bridge uh, you know because where i have my bridge at hooked up and it's still on the belt hooked up and then i got another four feet of extra rope and if that you know if i don't take it off the belt or don't cut it down i guess i should say or replace it with a smaller one and then this ends up coming undone when i'm climbing up a tree and i end up getting my leg caught up in it you know it it could cause some issues so on that right there i would definitely recommend getting a smaller bridge or just cutting this one down you know you could cut this rope down in half and still have plenty to hook up for your bridge uh, now i do like the i mean you have plenty of rope there so if you're a bigger guy you know you can adjust it how you want so i mean it's all to to each their own i would have just rather had a smaller size for that instead of the same size rope for the linesman and the tether uh, but like I said, other than that, I mean, there's not really much bad that I can say about it, uh, especially without having to be able to, to hunt out of it or be hanging in it for long periods of time. But overall, I'm very happy with it, and I recommend it for sure. So go out there and check them out. Uh, XOP, it's a renegade saddle harness combo. Stick with us till next time.